Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Good morning and welcome to Toddler Time. This is the story time that we prepare specifically for children that have just started to walk up until around the age of three. So around one to three year olds. Everyone's welcome to watch and participate, but the content is going to be geared towards toddlers. Let's sing our hello song one more time. I'm gonna go over the signs just so you know what we're saying, okay? This is hello. This is friends. This is it's time. You just point to your wrist like you have a wristwatch on. And this is say. Let's sing it one more time, okay? Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. My name is Robin. I'm a librarian here at Smith Public Library. And I think that we should warm up our hands. Can you show me your hands? All right. Can you make fists? Bunk them together? We're going to do an action rhyme called Roly Poly. Can you roll your arms like this? Here we go. Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up. Roly poly, roly poly, down, down, down. Roly poly, roly poly, out, out, out. Roly poly, roly poly, in, in, in. Roly poly, roly poly, clap, clap, clap. Roly poly, roly poly, lap, lap, lap. Good job. We also like to introduce a different letter each week. And this week we are going to talk about the letter M. And I have a friend that is so excited. She wants to come out and tell us all about this letter. Millie, here I am, here I am. Howdy everybody, the letter of the week. I know the letter of the week. You do, what is it? It's the letter M. What sound does that letter make? It says m, 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 just like in moo and in Millie. That's right. Your name starts with the letter M and has that m sound. What other names can you think of that start with the letter M? Hmm. Oh, oh, uh, Martha. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, those are both very, Maurice. Wow, you can think of a lot. What about anybody else? Oh, oh, I know, I know, I know someone and her, her name has an M sound in it. Really, what is, what is her name? Her name is Emmy. Hi, everybody whose name starts with the letter M or anybody else. Yep, everybody can watch, right? Okay, now then, would you like to sing your song for everybody? Yes, I would. Okay. Oh, my name is Millie, and I like you. I love to sing and dance. Moo, moo! Good job, Millie. We're going to um, let you go rest for a little bit, and then you can come back later, okay? Hooray! I will see you later. Have fun. Bye-bye. Good job. Good job. We also like to teach you how to make the letter of the week in sign language. And this one kind of looks like a letter M. You put one, two, three fingers over your thumb like that and it looks like the letter M. Just make sure I have everything right. Okay. We have a song that we like to sing that'll help us remember how to make the letter M. There's an M near my mouth, near my mouth. There's an M near my mouth, near my mouth. There's an M near my mouth, and it likes to face south. South is that way. There's an M near my mouth, near my mouth. There's an M on my arm, on my arm. There's an M on my arm, on my arm. There's an M on my arm. Oh, and it feels rather warm. 
There's an M on my arm, on my arm. There's an M on my thumb, on my thumb. There's an M on my thumb, on my thumb. There's an M on my thumb, and it's looking for a crumb. There's an M on my thumb, on my thumb. <laughs> Hooray! We practiced sign language and body parts and rhyming. So many things in just one song. Awesome. Would you like to read a book now? Okay. Hmm, who else would look for crumbs besides a thumb? Maybe a mouse. And this story is about three mice. And it's called Mouse Paint. It's by Ellen Stoll Walsh. And she also drew the pictures for it, so she's the illustrator. And it's published by Harcourt. And we want to thank Harcourt for giving us permission to read this book online. Mouse paint. Oh, there's a yellow mouse. There's a blue mouse, and there was a red mouse on the first page. But on this page, they are white mice. One, two, three. Once, there were three white mice, and they were on a white sheet of paper. Why were they doing that? Because the cat couldn't find them. One day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. One red, one, do you know what color that is? Yes, yellow, and one blue. They thought it was mouse paint. They climbed right in. Then one was, yes, red. One was yellow and one was blue. What's your favorite color? Do you like yellow or blue? Maybe red? They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles looked like fun. What do you do when you see a puddle? Do you jump in? Yeah. Red Mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. His red feet stirred the yellow paint. Do you know what happens when you mix red paint with yellow paint? Let's see. Look! He cried! Red feet in a yellow puddle makes orange, just like a pumpkin. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. Its feet mixed and stirred and mixed until, do you know what color you get when you put yellow and blue together? Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make green, just like broccoli. Then the blue mouse jumped into the red puddle. He splashed and mixed and danced until, what color? What color are we gonna see next? Purple! They all 
shouted, blue feet in a red puddle makes purple. What purple things can you think of? themselves down to a nice soft white. Do you see where they took their bath to wash the paint off? C-A-T spells cat. They're bathing in the cat's water dish. the paper instead of their fur. They painted one part red and one part yellow. And one part blue. They mixed red and yellow. Remember, that makes orange. They mixed yellow and blue and that makes green and blue and red for purple. But they left some of the paper white because of the, do you see that tail? Who does the tail belong to? You're right, it's the cat. The end! You learned so many colors. Good job. I have a friend. Who's this? This is Mousy. Yeah. Mousy wants to help us learn a nursery rhyme. If you can learn five nursery rhymes by the time you start kindergarten, you're going to have an easier time learning to read. So we're going to learn different nursery rhymes during our fall session of toddler time. Do you know a nursery rhyme that has a mouse in it? Let me grab it real quick. This nursery rhyme is called Hickory Dickory Duck. See the eyes? in hickory and dickory and there's our grandfather clock hickory dickory duck the mouse ran up the clock the clock struck one and the mouse ran down hickory dickory duck we'll sing it one more time okay hickory dickory duck the mouse ran up the clock the clock struck one the mouse ran down hickory dickory duck I was thinking of something when I was reading this. Our early literacy tip this week is about vocabulary. And when you say the clock struck one, you might think that it actually hit somebody. Because sometimes when you strike something, it means to hit something. And maybe the thing it hit was the mouse. But that's not true. It's a clock. And it has a bell. And when it gets to one o'clock, it goes, Bong! And that means to strike one o'clock. So there you go. No mousies were harmed in the making of this nursery rhyme. Bye, mousie. We'll see you later, okay? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Bye-bye, everybody. Okay. It's time for our flannel story. And this is a guessing game so that we can find Little Mouse. Little Mouse, Little Mouse! What color house are you hiding behind? Which house should we pick? Oh, the first mouse was red, so let's look behind the red house. No mouse behind the red mouse, red house. What color, do you remember what color the mouse, the next mouse was? Was he yellow? Little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding behind the yellow house? 
No. No yellow. No little mouse behind the yellow house. Let's try blue. Little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding behind the blue house? Do you think Mousy's there? No. No, Mousy. Remember, if you mix yellow and blue together, you get green. Do you think Mousy's behind the blue, the green house? No, no Mousy. We only have two left. Should we pick pink or should we pick purple? Say it really loudly. Oh, I heard pink. Pink has a, an eye in the middle. Pink. Pink. No mouse behind the pink house. That only leaves one. Do you think our mouse is hiding behind the purple house? There's our mousey. Good job. You found the mouse. Hooray. Okay. Millie wants to come and help us sing zoom, zoom, zoom. Do you hear that mm sound at the end of the word zoom? Millie, here I am. I'm ready to go to the moon. That's right, moon starts with a mm sound too. You ready to go? You want to climb on the rocket ship? Okay, zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll be there very soon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. You ready to count down? This is the fun part. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Hooray, I love to go to the moon. I'm going to jump. Good job. We're going to sing our goodbye song now, okay? You're going to go sit on the table? All right. We'll see you later. Have a good nap. Bye, everybody. Our goodbye song is just like our hello song at the beginning. It's bye-bye, friends except we use bye-bye instead of hello. Bye-bye, friends. Bye-bye, friends. Oh, I totally messed that up. Messed up starts with M too. Let's do it again. Bye-bye, friends. Bye-bye, friends. Bye-bye, friends. It's time to say bye-bye. It's always okay to make a mistake and mess up a little bit. That's just the way life is. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. Bye.